And welcome to your gold market update and charts of interest for today, Friday the 23rd of December. Mike Smith, seeing the analysts at Gold Markets here, just leading around the pre-Christmas market to see what's happening today. Of course, overnight we saw the US markets post losses again after stronger than expected GDP. And we had a major hedge fund manager expressing doom and gloom uh, when interviewed on one of the financial TV channels. There was some late buy-in to pay losses a little bit and be interesting to see if there's any follow through on that. At this stage, there isn't in Asia with US futures just below neutral in early trading. Uh, Asian indices are following that negative US lead in early doors and the ASX is down around 1% to start the day. European equity futures, because of that late pop in the US market, are pointing to a mildly higher open at this stage. Uh, and the VIX really isn't moving very much at all. The US dollar index is holding support at six months lows. It is slightly higher today and was so overnight. Gold has pulled back to resistance at 1825. Copper has dropped to support level and oil has also failed to breach resistance and remains within that trading range. It's really been in for the last couple of weeks. Bitcoin remains around that 16 to 17,000 level pauses. Uh, really, it's paused for most of the week, to be honest, uh, despite all the headlines around cryptos. On the data front, it is a big day, even though there isn't a lot out in terms of volume of data. The US year-on-year -year PCE data is tonight's data headline. That's the inflation measure that the Fed likes to use. So it will move markets later on tonight. So just be aware of that if you're holding any positions over Christmas. Japanese CPI came in hotter than expected this morning. We've also got US durable goods, housing data and consumer sentiment numbers out later to make it quite a busy day for the US investors to process. A couple of charts that caught our eye today. We're going to start with the US yen. You can see on the 30 minute chart, we have been in this range now for the last sort of two and a half days. And you can see we're pushing up a little bit in Asia this morning. Uh, this was obviously subsequent to that big drop we saw after that BOJ intervention on treasury yields. Uh, and we see it pushing higher. So there could be scope there. If we look at a daily chart, the, maybe up to back towards this 200 moving average at around about 136 could be on the cards in the medium to long term in the short term i think possibly a move up to 133 and a half would be 133.50 would be certainly on the cards for today much may change of course when that pce number comes out of course later on this evening on the ASX, we're finding very little that attracts us today. There is Tyro payments, which are possibly worth having a look at towards the back end of the day. And you can see there, it's just pulled back a little bit from this, this resistance. It's been testing all week at 138. Uh, so it's down three cents on the session. If we get a late buy-in into this that pushes us over that, then there is the potential for a move back up to around this 150 level, which would be a very acceptable 9% return on investment. It may take some time to get up here. This isn't usually a fast mover, as you can see historically, but we do look like we've got a technical ascending triangle here. So one to keep an eye on. And yesterday's up move was on the back of some buy-in pressure there. You can see the volume slightly raised. So that could be interesting and worth checking out towards the back end of the session. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.